Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Harm Laser Pistol mod, which is being made by user D Magnus. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely awesome new laser pistol for you to enjoy, and I have been so very much enjoying my time with it here in the Commonwealth, as it has just such an interesting retro sci-fi style to it that I love and also I think fits in quite nicely with the overall aesthetic of the Fallout universe. Though apparently this is actually uh, based on a gun from the video game No One Lives Forever which I don't think I've ever played which is why I don't recognize the gun in question here but still nonetheless a very cool so let's uh, jump on down here and have a look at what we do get with the Harm Laser Pistol, which in its most standard form will deal 24 damage with a new kind of energy cell with a firing rate of 50, range of 71, accuracy of 70, and a weight of 3.5. And as you can see here, this thing is magnificent. I really do love all the detailing on this. Very cool on the modeling and the texturing. Now you'll notice one oddity. If I actually back out of the Pip-Boy here real quick, you notice we have that spinning bit on the uh, sort of top center of the gun. Apparently the only way the mod maker could get that to work it was in such a way where it doesn't show up if the gun's on the ground, or if it's on a display rack, or of course, in the pit boy. But in your hand, it does spin around quite nicely, which is a cool little feature. Now we also do have a pretty decent list of modifications here, which of course will do things from upgrading damage, various sights, accuracy, but most importantly, we've got this Culminator one down here, which is going to be real important for that new kind of energy cell. Because a very unique thing about this gun that I really love about it, it's a recharging weapon. It produces its own ammunition that just over time builds up. And this Culminator category down here in modifications allows it to hold more of those shots as well as recharge them more quickly. But we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get to shooting this thing. Let's, of course, first mention how you do get your hands on one of these lovely things, and it's actually pretty simple. Now, it is actually added into the leveled loot list, and you'll occasionally find one on synths, gunners, and the occasional legendary enemy. But there is a guaranteed version in the world you can find quite quickly, by just going on over to the Wicked Shipping Yards, and in that first semi-tractor trailer in the middle there, you can find a shipping crate with a note on top, and inside that crate is one of these guns, and the letter has like a little fun explanation as to why it's in the world there. Very cool, very neat, absolutely love it. Now, once you have gotten one of these, preferably by grabbing it early at Wicked Shipping, you've just got to go over to any chemistry station, and then after you got one, you can build more by just using some adhesive, aluminum, circuitry, crystal, fiber optics, plastic, rubber, and steel to actually produce your own one of these guns. Now, here's where we come to one of my two complaints that I have about this mod. Overall, I love it, but I got two things. One is on this requirement for science right here. Rank 4 in science to build this gun, which, damage-wise, is a pretty early to maybe mid-game weapon. So requiring rank 4 in science, I think, is a bit much. Rank 2, honestly, would be as far as I would personally go, but that's just kind of my opinion on that one. But considering it's damage, I, yeah, I think that's a little weird. But thankfully, you can find them in the world and, of course, get your own one for free. Wonderful. Now let's go take a look at the modifications we got and head into the capacitor category first. And this is where you're going to up most of the damage for this gun, where we've got a standard boosted, maximized, and overcharged capacitor, which can bring this thing up to 44 damage. Now we can get a little bit more damage out of this thing with those Culminators down on the list a little bit later, but first, we got the barrel category, where we've got a snub, short, long, and extended barrel, helping with your range, sighted accuracy, and whatnot. 
Now then, in the grip category, we've got a standard comfort or sharpshooter grip to help with your recoil and hip fire accuracy. We then have in the sights category, the standard iron sights, a reflex sight, a short and medium scope with night vision versions of them, as well as a short recon scope. All very nice there. And then finally, we've, ha we've got that colim... Co Why can I never say this word? Colimator. There we are. Where we have either just the regular collimator, an improved, enhanced, or maximized version, and you also have either the standard or an azure one, which changes the laser you fire from red in the standard to blue in the azure. And you have that for all of them, so you can have either a blue or red laser with the maximized. And this category is gonna up the damage even more, as well as help with your accuracy, ammo capacity, and most importantly, that ammunition recharge. Cause it, um, again, we'll talk about it a little bit more in a moment, but it's kind of slow. And it's a very nice to have it in here. And with the maximized, uh, Colimator here, as well as the overcharge capacitor, you can get this gun up to 54 damage without any additional perks. You add in perks and you can up that even more. Oh, is good. Now let's actually go grab the two customized ones I made over here and uh, get to firing this baby and talk about that ammo situation a little bit more. Let's stick with the standard one. In fact, this is the version of the weapon I picked up at Wicked Shipping. And let's take some shots with a customized sound added in. Always good to have. And fire. And there we go. And as you can see, we fired our shots. This thing has a pretty decent uh, rate of fire on it. The iron sights are pretty darn easily usable. And well, you have that recharging ammo that you can see counting up in the corner. Thing is though, it's super slow. And once it gets up to a combined 10 for both what's in the gun and in your backup, yet it, it stops recharging and you do have to actually reload it. So if we off all 10 of the rounds there, there we go. We've got to sit and wait for it to actually finish recharging. And it will recharge one shot every two seconds while it's in your hand. If you put away the gun or grab a different gun, it's going to stop recharging. So only while it's here will you get more ammo. And the thing I don't really care for about it, that's my other second big complaint, is that it doesn't recharge additional ammo while you're holding it. So we've only got those 10 shots, and then you gotta wait 20 seconds for it to reload. I think that's a little weird. I would love to have 10 shots in the chamber ready to fire, and then 10 shots standing by that are recharging, but sadly that isn't the case. Now, thankfully, once you do get, say, the um, maximized culminate, co why can I never say it? Colimator, there we are. You can hold up to 40 shots and it recharges a lot more quickly, but there is a small bug with it right now. Uh, if we actually do go into the gun and select that, you'll notice it's, it is charging faster and thankfully it actually didn't happen, the bug didn't happen here. Sometimes when you switch between guns, if you're using like the lower tier one and you grab the maximized one, it'll still be working on that two second charge per shot. But thankfully that didn't happen this time. It only sometimes does that happen. But a bug that is pretty much guaranteed, notice we got the 40 shots now thanks to the collimator that I've got in here. If we go back to the standard one, oh look at that, I got 40 shots. It's a little weird, it's a little weird. Now granted, Odds are, you're never gonna have more than one of these in your inventory, so it'll probably never be an issue. But yeah, it's a weird thing when you switch between them that you then can have all the ammo of the bigger one and just keep on firing away there. But of course, once you do stop firing, it's gonna go back to that slow recharge and it will stop once you hit 10. Now, if we do go to the, uh, back to the tactical one there, and, oh, yep, there's the bug. It's doing the two seconds per. All right, all right, so let's fire and then, like, put the gun away. That usually seems to fix it. Oh, no, it didn't fix it that time. <laughs> yeah, so that's just a minor bug. Again, though, 
It's doubtful. There we go. The other version of it has the quick recharge. Perfect. It's doubtful you're ever going to have more than one in your inventory, so you'll probably never encounter it, but it is just a bug to make note of. Now, I think, yes, this is the one I did the Azure one on, so I do have a nice blue laser beam there. And, of course, a nice short scope. Always good. And let's reload to get our full 40 ammo capacity. And let's bring on a Deathclaw and fight him. Now, I'm actually going to switch over to the one with the uh, recon sight for, you know, me, I seem to have better luck with that. And yeah, see how this thing functions with 54 maximum damage without perks against a death claw. Ooh, and a perfect song to start up for when we grab one of these. Nice. Hi, death claw! Ooh, God, run away! I hit him, I think, once. Oh, okay, all right. All right, so let's hit him. Oh boy, oh boy. Even with 54 damage, it's gonna take a bit. And with that recharge, oh, oh, all right, all right. Now, thankfully, with just kind of keeping your rate of fire down, even with the recharge, it's not too awful. It's only once you really unload the ammo that, you know, the recharge rate is really felt just because you're going to have to sit there for a while waiting for more ammo. But as long as you're conservative with your shots, doing it in small bursts, you should be able to keep up with any combat pretty decently. But again... With just that 54 max damage, this is really relegated, in my opinion, to an early to mid-game gun. So once more, that four science requirement to build, eh, I don't know if I'm feeling, but uh, you can find one in the world for free. So it's not that big of a problem. But yeah, that is everything with the Harm Laser Pistol mod. It's just a fun little retro sci-fi gun that I have very much been enjoying, even with the two small issues I do have with this thing. So if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you know, look at the link in the description as per usual, my friends. But that is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and yet do come back for the next when we will hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!